let me just sit down. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it's Nina. Um, I had a really productive day yesterday. I went off to the photocopiers and had, um, I think it was three in the end, of my drop paper sheets photocopied so that I could use them for um, Mixed Media Morsels Houses Challenge. Um, so yeah, I um, had quite a productive day. First of all, in the morning, I wrote myself a list of all the things that I've committed to and that I've got outstanding, um, just so that I would feel better about myself once I actually crossed um, them off. Um, but I wanted to get um, the postcard um, challenge um, sorted out. I can't show you because um, the closing date for the postcard um, swap that I'm doing isn't until, I think it's the 2nd of, of March, and then they get sent out by the end of March. Um, so I haven't got my swap partner um, assigned yet. Um, so, but I will show um, what it looks like. I, I didn't record myself doing it, it took me ages. I was being so meticulous about it. Um, but I'm really pleased with, with the outcome. All I will say is that um, it was made on a five by seven piece of cardboard and this is the, the backdrop, which is one of my painty um, tissue papers. I think this is mainly Dilusions um, sprays. So that's all you're getting um, for the moment. Um, so once I'd um, done that, um, I started cutting up my um, drop papers and making them into houses and I'm really pleased with the way that, um, that these have turned out. So here's the drop papers that I used. In fact, let me just bend down as well because I photocopied. Bear with me, I'm just fumbling around on the on the floor. I photocopied the circle page that I did for Mixed Media Morsels as well because I thought that would be quite nice cut up for, for collage and you can see there one of the, the houses from this particular piece of piece of paper. So but to sort of show you all I did that was the drop paper there which I haven't done anything to it's still got the um, tear that I haven't altered um, in this, this corner. I shall stick some paint on, on that though. But I just had the centre of it photocopied and the same um, with this one here. So there's, yep, there's that one. So just, because this is slightly larger than A3, so I just had it photocopied onto a piece of A3 paper. So there they are. Um, and again, you can see where I've cut out here but I've just mixed them around. Let me just get rid of those. Um, so let's just pop them out again. Here they are. I've got six of them. Um, so yeah, I just mixed and matched the um, house part and the, the roof with coordinating um, parts of the, the paper. And then I used some of my um, jelly prints and overspray papers. That's a, another one that got caught up and I kept that um, and here's a couple of jelly jelly prints and that's another piece of spray paper um, from some metallic sprays that I was using I think those were homemade sprays with um, the iridescent medium um, in so that's really really pretty so I've cut out various parts of, of those to make the doors and the windows and then I've just scribbled some leaded effects on the on the windows and that's pretty much that so I'm going to be working on the background um, for these to go on um, today um, so that's it mixed media morsels number eight I think it is houses part one I should be back later for part two